and we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be doing the level 68 Weaver quest. And as always, hello from Ifri. So we are here in Kugane with Kamei at 11.8. Um, so let's talk to him and let's see what we have to do. So the quest is called A Geiko for All Seasons. Uh, Kamei is not lavishing presents on his precious butterfly. So, Mistress Manifold, you'll be pleased to hear that the Keiko Odor was a rousing success. And thanks in no smart to you, of course, uh, Goto Cho was the star of the show. The foreign dignitaries in attendance were positively smitten with the sight of a Geiko performing a traditional Higan dance clad in a striking Eorzean dress. A true fusion of East and West, the old and the new. What's more, ever since that uh, Zen, the inns and tea houses of the flower district are packed with Ijin customers, many of whom asked our butterfly night after night. So much for Koto Soro and her haughty words of warning. With her popularity ever uh, begungeoning, my butterfly has received another prestigious invitation, this time none other from the Bukyo himself. Kugane's highest magistrate will be holding an exclusive banquet at his estate for official guests to, of state. Um, and he has called on a select group of Geiko to entertain them. If Kotocho can win the favor of the Bugyo and his associates, none will be able to dismiss her as a passing fancy destined to vanish like the foam on the water. Needless to say, the importance of the occasion has not been lost on the dear girl. She has asked me for another gift, and who am I, who are we to refuse? I humbly request that you call upon her at her residence in the Hanamachi and take note of her every wish. Cool. So we need to go to there. So let's sprint a Rooney. We're just round this way. Let's talk to her. getting told off so can you believe this sorry I skipped that I shouldn't have can you believe this mistress manifold Kotsusuro insists that I attend the Bugyo's banquet in a traditional sick Camino what right does she have to make such a decision she is senior to me yes but I am my own woman tell her what you have told me friend tell her that my boldness is indispensable part of what makes me me there you go again, Kotosho, dragging others into your petty squabbles. Can you not see this foreigner has more important matters on her mind? Pray forgive uh, Kotosho's uh, rudeness, Mistress Manifold. She cannot help being the uh, putulent little girl she is. There you go again, Kotosuro, always thinking you know what's best for me. I am dragging Mistress Manifold into nothing. She fashions her masterworks um, for me because she believes in me and my dream, as Master Kamei does. Is it not so? I think you're just jealous. Jealous because I am wearing the inspired fashions from across the Ruby Sea, while you are still uh, trotting out that fusty old Camino. Poor child, clearly my teachings were for naught, but I will deign to teach you one final lesson. This is what I propose. Let us compete to see which of us earns the favor of the bug yo. Challenge accepted. I will eat your words and your moth-eaten Camino both when the student outshines the teacher. Such confidence. I take it then you will not be opposed to the conditions. The loser will immediately renounce her position and return to the scullery as an apprentice. Oh, but look at the time. A customer calls. Do not try to trip over your own feet when you practice now. Lol. So, ah, finally, I swear, when Kotsusuro stands beside me, the air is so stuffy with musty old tradition that I can scarcely breathe. But a new wind blows in Kugane, uh, and bold youth and individuality will win the day. I will see to this. And you will help me, yes? I would have you fashion the most eye-catching dress imaginable. Something that will make that old hag uh, shrink from the mere sight. 
mayhap something like, um, what was that piece of uh, dignitary spoke of? The one favoured by his favourite dancing girl? A Navtarian bust year, was it? Well, whatever it is called, that is precisely what I need. You will make it for me, yes? In a my favourite colour, of course. Tell the young master that this is truly a life and death battle for his butterfly, and we can afford to spare no expense. And now I must return to my lessons. I am counting on you, Mistress Manifil. I mean, I'll be perfectly honest, she actually sounds like a spoiled brat. She doesn't sound like someone on a noble quest or journey or anything like that. You know, she has to learn to become more humble and stop making everyone hate her. But anyway, I mean, Kumei doesn't hate her at all, but he's smitten. So you have spoken with my butterfly, I presume. What manner of dress does the girl seek this time? Something busty. So a dress is even more revealing than that worn by the old and dancing girls? What is this strange sensation I feel in my chest? Ahem, uh -huh. as always, the finest fabrics in our inventory at your disposal. What will you require? Nothing. So, oh dear, just between the two of us, silk of a quality befitting my butterfly is not cheaply had. And yet, so long as Kotocho's star continues to rise, the demand for western fashions will spread and our profits will only grow. So a contest with Kotosuru, you say? With the loser forced to start her career over from the lowest rung of the Gecko ranks, this is most concerning, to say the least. But no, I tr must trust in my butterfly. The girl has not achieved all she has by walking the well-trodden path, and my own confidence, and, and boldness and daring must be equal to hers. Uh, you may follow Kotocho's order to the letter, and do so with my blessing. Yugiri will provide you with all you require. May the Kumi guide your needle, Mistress Manifil. Is that what he going to give me? Floss? So welcome back, honored guest. The young master told me that um, you would be returning. Here are the fabrics he has set aside for you. Why do I have a feeling she's being set up to fail here? So this silk is quite costly. This I know. But are you certain that such a limited quantity will suffice? Apparently. So it only covers the... Um, forgive me, friend. I meant no disrespect. You must understand that we in Hingashi have, but certainly become exposed to the cultures and customs of your homeland. Judging from what I have seen of your work, I have no doubt that any garment you fashion will be an exquisite piece of unparalleled quality and good taste. Should you require any more fabric, you would need but uh, speak the word. Okay, so we're basically going to... Yeah, a seductive bustier. Lol. See, duck. This is probably like the only time I'll type this word in the game. So, synthesize. Let's go. We still have our food. So we still have the magic 450 CP that we need to get 100% high quality. I wonder what this is going to look like. As a man, I'm very, very, very curious. But that's because I'm a man. That's what we do. Okay, next. there, 100%, done. Okay, let's talk to him. So, I must say, Mistress Manifil, my heart is still, um, the dress is complete, you say. Pray show it to me without delay. Okay, let's hand over the seductive bustier. So it said, a, a bustier of Tanarian design cut low to distinct potential business clients, uh, thus providing the upper hand in negotiations. Lol. So it's lovely, my friend, but where is the rest of it? Haha, <laughs> I jest. 
Um, it is just as I envisioned it. We simply must have my butterfly try it on at once. Koto Cho, Koto Cho. Get naked. <laughs> and then cover yourself with nothing. So what say you, my friends? Nice. I don't like the color, but otherwise it's nice. Kotocho, forgive me. It was a bit too much for my senses to take in all at once. But now I see. I see it all. I see your resolve and your determination as never before. If you would bear your uh, passion in full, know that you will have my unwavering support. You are too kind, young master. And Mistress Menifil, you have truly outdone yourself this time. It is so light and airy. Why, I feel as if I could take flight this very instant. My battle with Kotosuro is all but one. Uh, that is the spirit, my butterfly. Uh, do not let that one fluster you. Breathe deeply and show the Bugyo the fruits of your training. And Mistress Menafil's masterpiece will surely do the rest. I mean, the rain is ruining it now. If she loses, it's the rain's fault. So thank you, my friends. Mark my words. My performance will be daring and bold as the dress you have gifted me. I will dance as I have never danced before. Why do I feel it's raining more than usual today? So forgive me, I seem to be short of breath. No doubt it is simply the anxiety. I am feeling in anticipation for my butterfly's most formidable trial yet. I am sorry, Mistress Menafil, but I am feeling rather faint. Would you be so kind as to keep me company here until my butterfly returns? Sure, why not? I just hope she's not actually a gold digger, unlike just using him for his fabrics. Or like, if she loses, then it's all his fault somehow. So, thank you for your company, my friend. I would surely have passed out hours ago if you were not here at my side. But whatever is keeping Kota show, surely the banquet is long over by now. Could it be that, though my butterfly was triumphant, I am sure of it. Gah, I can, I can't stand the anticipation no more. Well, I can stand it no more. Uh, let us split up and find the girlfriend. I will make for Bug Yo's estate. Might you search the piers? I have known Kota show to look out over the ocean um, there when she wants to clear her mind cool maybe she is because she lost so she needs to go to pier one so let's go to the a for right plaza and then let's teleport I can't wait until I get a new graphics card and I can smooth out this frame rate to pier one There she is. So, Mistress Manifil, whatever brings you here. Forgive me for worrying you so. I do not deserve your kindness. Oh, my butterfly, thank the Kami you are safe. When you did not return after the banquet, I feared the worst. Pray tell, how did you fare in your contest with Koto Suru? Forgive me, young master, it is all over. After all you have done for me. I failed you, my friends. The bustier Mistress Manifold made for me was perfect, of course. All the blame lies with me. I was not worthy of it. The moment I stepped on the stage, all eyes on the audience fell on me. I saw the looks of shocked surprise on their faces. And before I knew it, my mind was blank, my body frozen. If only I had given my training the same attention as my attire. I might have salvaged a performance worthy of the occasion. Oh, what a fool I am. Finally, you learn. A pity is too late. So that dress, or whatever you call it, is a marvel indeed. 
But I fear you also made a fatal error of judgment, my girl. The honored guest of the Bugyo, nearly uh, to a man, um, hailed from Radzahan. The sight of a scantily clad dancing girl is nothing new to them. They may have been amused to see the fashions of their homeland on display here in Kagane, but make no mistake, that is not what brought them here. They came to our shores to feast their eyes and ears on traditional Hinjin song and dance. Yes, the tradition you so quick to scorn. But worry not, you will have plenty of time to learn to appreciate it in your second apprenticeship. Watch closely and have the humility to learn from those around you, and mayhap you'll reclaim your position on your own merits. I for one would welcome that day. I knew she would lose. I should have known, I was never Kotosoro's equal. She sees clearly all that I was blind to, the truth of my clients, of trends in fashion, even on myself. For all her harsh words, she was only looking out for me, doing all she could to teach me the ways of the world, and yet I responded with the insolence and impudence of a child, and still she never gave up on me, not even today. I will not forget the lessons I have learned. I will carry them in my heart at all times as I start over from where I began. That one day I might spread my wings and fly once more. So Master Kame, after all you have done for me, in the end I brought nothing but shame to you and your family's business. But I will not ask for your forgiveness. No, I must show uh, by my deeds that I truly des deserving of it. I promise that flower will bloom once more. You will uh, wait until that day, yes? Oh, but of course, my sweet butterfly. To see you pursue your dreams with such single-minded devotion, the shackles of custom and tradition be damned. It has filled me with a new sense of purpose. Perhaps your rise was too swift, too striking uh, for the stead and the cultured masses. But this I know. Uh, stay true to yourself and devote yourself to your training and your era will come. It is but a matter of time. So thank you, my friends. And now I must return to my quarters and gather my belongings. Farewell, young master, Mistress Manifil, till we meet again. I like her outfit, though. Wonder if I should make an equivalent for Mithri one day. I put on a smile for Kota Cho's sake, but to speak the truth, I am something of a loss right now. I would return to my store and collect my thoughts. Pray stop by later. There are matters we should discuss. It's like, yeah, how am I going to pay for that dress? <laughs> okay, so let's, uh, we have to go back now to the uh, Rakuza district. Let's do it. So the Rakuza district, that's the one right there. So thank you for coming, my friend. To be quite honest, I fear for what will become of our business without Kotacho to lure potential customers and draw attention to our Western fashions. So there is naught to do but hawk our wares and hope our butterflies stay in the apprentice ranks will be short-lived. In the meantime, pray continue to heighten your aesthetic senses and hone your craft. When Kotacho regains her status, I will gift her with a garment worthy of the occasion. Cool, so that's complete. Done. So obviously the next quest will be at level 70. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mifri. Bye guys.